Oh, yes. Cristiano Ronaldo's interview is so revealing. There is so much that we can understand about Manchester United. There is so much that is under the surface. And if you read between the lines, you can deduce that Cristiano Ronaldo is completely correct. Cristiano Ronaldo said nothing wrong. I wholeheartedly agree with every single word that he says in that interview. Do not watch the clips. There is a 20-minute version of this interview. You must go and watch it. Everything that Ronaldo says is bang on. And we can really understand that there is something going on at Manchester United from this interview. It is very stark and very apparent that Cristiano Ronaldo is in a league of his own at that club. I guarantee you this. If every single player at Manchester United had the attitude on display by Cristiano Ronaldo on a weekly basis, Manchester United win the league. Manchester United would be a far superior club if everybody adopted Cristiano Ronaldo's mentality. But something was said that was really, really striking. Ronaldo acknowledges that he has a huge role to play, both on the pitch and off it, in regard to the development of the younger players in the squad. The geezer has won five European Cups. When you have that knowledge and that expertise at your disposal, you make the most of it. That is an opportunity. Can you imagine being a young footballer at one of the biggest clubs in the world, playing with one of the best footballers to have ever existed, and you don't use that as an opportunity? But that is what's happening. I'm sure that is what's happening because he is saying that some people are choosing not to soak up his expertise, but to ignore it. And he doesn't say who. He almost says this isn't happening at Manchester United, but in general. But I think it is happening at Manchester United. And I would love to know what player at Manchester United, what young player is good enough to ignore advice from one of the greatest footballers to have ever walked the face of the earth. How is that acceptable? It's completely and utterly nonsense. This shouldn't be allowed. Like Cristiano Ronaldo talks about when he was young. And he was 18, 19, 20. And when he'd speak to some of the older players, he would improve. They would tell him that this needs to improve. Certain parts of his character, certain parts of his game, certain parts of his decision-making need to improve. And he would learn from that and he would become a better player. And that is ultimately what sent him on to become one of the best players in the world. But he also says that younger players these days, they don't like it. He says if you criticise them, they don't like it. And... He then makes a point of saying that's not about now, by the way. That's not about the players now. That's not about Manchester United. That's just in general. I don't believe him. I think Cristiano Ronaldo is being a really good team player and not hanging any of his teammates out to dry. But I think that the experience that he's talking about, where he has advice to give, where he has knowledge to give, where he has expertise to give, but it's being ignored, I believe that's happening at Manchester United now. That is happening. And that is why Cristiano Ronaldo is dismayed that Manchester United are languishing seventh in the league. When you think about who Ronaldo is, when you think about what he has achieved in the game, this is ridiculous. Cristiano Ronaldo has won the Ballon d'Or on five separate occasions. And yet he's playing for a team who are seventh, who have been pretty much appalling in six of Rangnick's seven games in charge. Like, the fortunes of Manchester United need to change, and they can change if Cristiano Ronaldo is listened to. I truly believe that. If you listen to him speak, he's so intelligent, he's so passionate, and he's so articulate that Cristiano Ronaldo can change the face of Manchester United. But they need to listen to him. Like, he talks about the mindset. He, he actually says something that I completely agree with. People constantly talk about things that can't be quantified. People constantly talk about things like shape of the team and formations and heat maps and whatever but he said it's a mentality thing he said if you have an improved mentality you will have a better season you will have a better team and I completely agree with that and when you think about what Ronaldo has done for that club on two separate stints you know he's back at Manchester United now from Juve and if you think about what he did in his first stint like I think this has been a really successful stint by the way I feel like the fact that he has held responsible for things constantly is ridiculous. I kid you not. I was on a talk sports show yesterday with my dear friend Adi Oladipo and we were talking about what's going wrong for Bruno Fernandes and the first words he said to me were Cristiano Ronaldo. And I said, that is absolutely unacceptable. Adi, I love you. You're a good friend. You're a brilliant broadcaster, but this is twaddle. You cannot talk about it. If I say to you, what's wrong? With Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes is an elite football player who takes responsibility for his own actions. How dare you start 
the answer to the question, what's wrong with Ronaldo by say what's wrong with Fernandez by saying Cristiano Ronaldo? It is nonsense and it is unacceptable. Cristiano Ronaldo is a gift to any club and any footballer. And the fact that it's not being widely accepted is just ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous. However, they've got Ronaldo there. He seems determined to get it back. And I believe that he can do it. I believe that he can do it. I think that the way that he spoke was very, very impressive. And I truly believe that Cristiano Ronaldo can guide Manchester United back up the league. I mean, he looked embarrassed when he was talking about what Manchester United are doing at the moment. He says he doesn't want to be fighting for sixth or seventh place. He actually said fifth is completely unacceptable. He said that only winning the league, second or third, are the only positions acceptable for Manchester United to finish in. And I completely agree with that. When you think about who Manchester United are and what they represent, the face of British football, you know, there are, there are two super clubs in this country, only two. And Manchester United are one of them. They're not even a football club by the very definition of the word. They're more a, an institution on the sort of skyline of Britain. They're that kind of club. You know, they're them, Liverpool, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid. I would put AC Milan in that, but people would contest whether that's true. But I would certainly put AC Milan and then you make a case for certain other clubs. But Manchester United are undoubtedly in there. And Cristiano Ronaldo is the kind of player that understands that and he's desperately trying to rocket that club back to where they once belonged. But it's not looking good for them. But this this interview is revealing. I feel like there is an awful lot going on in this interview. So I am very keen to hear your thoughts. Would you do me a favour and comment? Let me know. What do you think about the issues at Manchester United? Do you think that Ronaldo is responsible? I mean, I just, I just can't understand it. When people talk about what's going wrong, Cristiano Ronaldo's goals alone were responsible for 10 Champions League points for Manchester United. How anyone can suggest that he is a problem, I just don't get. I really don't. When you think about what he did for Manchester United on his first spell there, he was there for six years under Fergie, wasn't he? Went there about 03, I think. Went to Madrid when he won the ballot first Ballon d'Or, so it would have been 09. When you think about what he did then, it was just unreal, wasn't it? Eight major trophies. And he's come back and he's set them on his way. I just think he is, I just think he's, he's just, I mean, he's a phenomenon. He's a phenomenon of a football player. And Manchester United are genuinely lucky to have him. However, what I really want to know is who are the players that don't want to accept the criticism from Ronaldo or the opportunity to improve that Ronaldo is delivering? It's a very interesting one. As always, I want to hear your thoughts on this, but I completely, wholeheartedly and aggressively back Cristiano Ronaldo in every word that he said in that interview. Really keen to hear your thoughts, so please do let me know what you think on this one. It's, it feels like there's something going on at this club. It really does. The fact that Ronaldo feels obliged to come out and say this. Something's going on. Something is in the air. So let me know your thoughts. And... If you have enjoyed this video, please do the honour, give me the honour of giving it a like. Please click subscribe and I will see you all on the next video. Ta-da.